So then the German did the French, because I knew Spanish and French was a lot like French, Spanish, so I didn't have so much trouble with French. But German come pretty easy to me. It took me an hour just to read the page and brought to Carabazov, my brother's Carabazov. Do you think that, do you think your consciousness has evolved to a point where you don't even have to talk about your ideas, they just will be transmitted directly to the... To it's the a weird thing. People seem to pick up my thoughts, but I don't like that because it's not logical. I think I'm more left brain than right brain, even though I grew a beard and I, my right brain took over more. I try to get a balance. I try to worship God and help my family, the right brain, the French and helping your family and the Russians and, and Americans and worshiping God. but. Also, I like to keep the German. That's what I like the best, the German and education and the English and the work. Because I like to work and, and uh, learn new things all the time. And that's what I excel at because I'm a member of Metsa at High IQ Society, the top 2% in IQ level. But I just love the discussion groups. Just like I've been going to Unitarian. I was going to the Quaker, but I seem to like the Unitarian a little bit better because they have a discussion group there. I love the silence so much. We sat in silence in the Quaker Church for an hour. If God guides us, we get up to speak. I never get up to speak because I don't think God guides me to do that. But the Unitarian, they have discussion groups, and I like that. So well, after the service, we discuss things. And I, th I think, I think about the Mormons, how they're missionaries to people. And I think of myself as a missionary to the Unitarians sometimes because I try and teach them about God if they're atheists. But some people believe in God, and I'm not a Christian because I believe in all religions. That's why I like the Unitarian, because you don't have to be just a Christian to go there. But I talk about the soul and the near-death experience and all that stuff, and I think life is so full of beauty and harmony and interest and mystery and everything. I don't see just a flat matter and empty space, like atoms and empty space, like Democritus ideas in, in Greece about materialism. I, I, I see science that's really wonderful because it's illogical, but I, I, I see the religion too. I see the dual aspect. Science and religion, just like philosophy and logic and philosophy and art. You have art, you have your uh, uh, po Jackson Pollock's paintings. He, he, used, he, he, he used abstraction. You think there wasn't any order there. It's, it's beautiful in a way. It's harmonious. But you study it, you read, I read Scientific American and they, they studied that and they found there's fractal patterns in there, fractal mathematics, mathematical patterns in, in Pollock's work. That's wonderful because that, that relates to organization and harmony, organization and Aquarius and the opposite, Leo and harmony, just like religion relates to concreteness and uh, I mean science relates to concreteness, Taurus and Earth and then water and depth and uh, religion relates to abstractness like your aura and your your spacing of your objects like Gaia. They have this Gaia thing where uh, the universe is, the earth sort of regulates itself because matter is connected to life. Everything's connected together and it's like the anthropic principle of science too that you have uh, if things is just off a, a billionth of a percentage a point or something the universe would collapse or it would expand out forever and where there wouldn't be life, it wouldn't exist as there is because God did that. That was God, but I think God is something to logic too because I think, I don't think God can make two and two equal five. I think logic... Are you ready to teach or are you thinking that you may need a teacher? Well, I, don't, I, I got my teacher's books. I just read books. I liked, it. I liked God in the Quaker church because the teacher is a the congregation because we all gather together. I just had trouble with the homosexuality there. Was there, what was the deal with that? With the oh. Quaker church? I don't know, I identify more with the Quakers than I do with the Unitarians, so I had trouble with that, but I, they had, homo, they might, they have as many homosexuals in the Unitarian, if not more, but I don't identify with the Unitarians so much, so it don't bother me so much there. And I go to the discussion group and we, we get things out in the open. It's more extroverted and it's not so introverted because you want the purity of the religious service. And when you, 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 you meditate in the Quaker church, there's so much depth in it. And if you have lesbians in there and stuff, it messes, up, it, messes it up for me, uh, the, the meditation. 
But I don't want to be anti-homosexual. I, 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 I don't want to... I'm not what that you, kind what of... What do you think happens in that you're in the silence and, and like you start to, you know, become part of that collective consciousness? Yeah, because that's a collective consciousness. God, God protects churches. You take churches where... That's like these colored people. They're wonderful people, but... Now with the drugs in America, the colored people are taking drugs so much, but you take these colored churches, that's a, that's a big beacon of light in the colored sections where these black people go to church, they worship God because God is in their presence. And like I was living on Dale Street, and I had more trouble out in the suburbs with people than I do in, in St. Paul, because I was living on Dale Street by that Lutheran housing to redeem my arms, and there's colored people and Asians over there, and they, I never had any trouble with anybody there. And they had this uh, this uh, Beth Bethanist Episcopal Church there, and that was real nice. That Tiger Jack was there from St. Paul, and I used to talk to him, and he was a wonderful person. And